What is up, everybody? You are checking out the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, the longest reigning WWE pay-per-view champion of all time, the hot commodity Ant C, joined by my good friend and co-host. Christian, live from the freaking kitchen. Live um, from the kitchen. But excited to do this Christmas special. I'm currently watching Collision Live. Um, it's pretty boring. So yeah, I, I, that's why I didn't tune in because I was like, I don't know. Um, yes, this is our, I think this is like our third. I don't know how many Christmas specials I've had. We'll call it our, our, uh, new era Christmas special here. Um, so yes, we're having a special Christmas holiday special. We got the Christmas lights up, ready for it on Dasher, on Dancer, on Tiffany and Trish, on, uh, the Miz on Gunther on Seth's Christmas list. <laughs> I don't know. I'm corny. Uh, that, that, was, that was my version of trying to be The Rock giving a uh, 12 Days of Christmas speech there. But yeah, oh. this is our holiday special. Uh, happy holidays to everybody who celebrates. Uh, I celebrate Christmas. How about you? Yeah. Christmas, Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, you know. What's the name of the... Um, there's like a Hindu... Holiday Diwali, happy Diwali! There you go. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> well, that's all right. Uh, so yes, we are covering uh all things Christmas in the WWE universe, and uh it's been a crazy year of stuff happening in WWE. So to slow things down, we are going to celebrate all things holiday season related. So to start out, I want to talk about some. Famous Christmas moments in WWE. You know, we've seen many Santa Clauses come and go. We've seen some very special match types. But Christian, when I say Christmas with WWE, what comes to your mind? Like, what's the first thing that? Uh, uh, oh, I don't really know too much because, like, I don't really know if they. They don't last time I remember, they don't really when Christmas followed on Mondays, they don't like this year for a good example, they don't really sorry, I'm looking up at my TV. Tony Storm is looking fucking sexy right now. Timeless Tony Storm. That's okay, she's cool. off. Um no, yeah, I I don't really know because they don't really do it live. They usually give the talent a day off. Um, but I I would just say WWE likes to give a lot. So I think of giving that's what Christmas is to mm-hmm. me. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, they like to do Christmas specials with like type of matches like they did with r Truth and McDonough that are pretty good. Um, but yeah, not too much to be honest that WWE has done that. Like I think of Christmas because they don't, they don't really do live shows during Christmas. Yeah. Um, for me, anytime I think of Christmas with WWE, I think of two things. I think of the tribute to the troops yeah. because that was their like big holiday thing that they would do all year. And you know, I remember being little when the first one came out in two thousand and three. I think I was like ten or eleven. I think I was eleven. I was one. I was one. Oh my god! Well, yeah. There we go. Happy holiday. <laughs> um, and I just remember at the time being nervous and thinking how cool the arena looked. Like it was like an Iraqi base. It was very cool. Um, I also think of an eggnog match. I remember in 2001, I was over like, I think it was like a family's friend's house and they watched the wrestling as well. And they had on raw cause it was like a new year's. It was this Christmas Eve episode. And, um, I remember they had like to Jerry as Santa Claus and Taz, as <laughs> Santa, which is interesting. And then they had like, eggnog match with Tori and Stacy, which I got to see live because it's at someone else's house. So I was happy about that. Uh but I just think about all those like, you know, silly moments like Stone Cold Steve Austin stunning Santa Claus back in 97. Um there was a moment where the million dollar man Ted DiBiase accidentally actually bought Santa Claus and basically um made him like an evil wrestler. Um, I think of like the Miracle on 34th Street matches. 
<laughs> but I just I think of just all the stupid like Christmas parties that they would have backstage and stuff. So I think of that during Christmas whenever I think of WWE. Um, my next question for you here is what are some like gifts that you remember getting that were WWE related for Christmas? Holy shit. Um I got my first the 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 old the yellow GTS shirt that CM Punk had. I mm. got that Christmas one year. Um I got WWE tickets in Hershey to sit front row. Um last Christmas. In yes. The 20- I remember seeing you on the TV. Yeah, yeah, that's that was year, that Christian. was. Oh my god, that was Christmas. Um, I got a John Cena, the Rise Above Hate one in like 2011 when he had. I got that. Okay. And that. Um. No, that was my birthday. Uh, I got all the SmackDown versus Raw. The, the yeah. Tour. I was about um, to hit I, that. I used to, when I was like in my middle school days, all three years of middle school, early high school, all I asked for was like WWE shirts. I got a John Cena framed poster signed. No nice. years. Um, so yeah, I, I I got a couple good WWE re- wrestling stuff. Last year I got a bunch of AEW merch. I got the hat, the, the sweatpants, the fucking and then yeah. So like I, I yeah, I, I I'd say I've gotten pretty good pro wrestling stuff in Christmas. Yeah, like I remember like I would get the the you know SmackDown versus Raw, the like even the WWE 13, 12, all those I wait for Christmas to get those. Every Christmas I would get the wrestling game. Um la- I think two Christmases ago I got the really cool I bought it for myself, the Undertaker. It doesn't light up anymore. It was like an ugly sweater and it used to like light up it used to have lights and that was cool. Um well, I earned this title for Christmas, but, you know, this is a nice little Santa gave me this for winning the belt. You know, wrestling shirts. I remember being a little kid, though, like, I was enamored by my brother because he's eight years older than me. And in, like, 96, he got, like, like Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Goldust, The Undertaker. And I just remember being like, oh, my God, another one? Like, I was so excited um, for him and for myself because I was going to be able to play with them. And I would get like the wrestling action figures, the the fake, like the old school, like pla- I don't know if they were plastic, but like not the real replica belts, but like the spinner title belt. Um, those are definitely good. Like anytime I think of Christmas, like wrestling definitely um was involved in some way with the presents. So speaking of presents, my next question for you here is what do you want Santa to bring you? For Christmas this year with pro wrestling, what's one gift that you want Santa to give you this year related to WWE? It could be like a certain match you want to see happen. It could be a storyline, a group forming, a group breaking up. What do you want to see Santa give to you that will make your year complete? Um. Oh. We're getting Punk and Rollins. Mm-hmm. I want Roman and Punk. I want... Jimmy and there Jay. There goes the, the patriarch Christian Cage. <laughs> oh, shit. Do you hear that in the background? Yeah, no, it's totally fine. I love it. I could hear him, though. It's great. Wayne's mom just got a better promo than half the roster. By the way, um, is so, Nick Wayne's uh, mom a heel now? Yeah, she's. I, I would. I would love to see her in my bedroom. Um, but oh. I definitely think I want her to love me a long time. No, um, I definitely think. Wait, what was the question? Like, what? What do you want? <laughs> you got sidetracked by Nick Wayne's mom, man. Wow. Um, what? What? What do you want Santa to give you this year? Oh. Yeah, Punk and Roman, Punk and Seth, Jimmy and Jay. Uh, I want The Rock to step foot in a ring with Roman. I want. Can I give you an idea that I have? I'm so sorry I cut you off, but I saw no, this. Go ahead. It's not going to happen. But hear me out. Rock versus Austin. That's not I know it's not going to happen. I know, but 
I was watching the Rocks Hall of Fame speech, and he was like, you know, he's like, can it happen again? Um, I I mean, WrestleMania 40, the last time these two icons that, you know, I think Rock has two wins over Austin and Austin only has one. I mean, I would like, I know that's not, that. I want Santa to give me that. I would love to see that again, because I really don't think we're going to get Rock versus Roman. And if we're going to get the Rock, in Austin at all. I don't want to see them fighting younger guys, but go ahead. I'm sorry. That was just on my mind. No, go you're back. good. Uh, WWE wise. That's, that's really, I want to see Miz win a title again. Um, I want Damian Priest to cash in successfully. No matter what he ca- cashes in on, whether it's a stupid mid card championship. Um, I want Dominic Mysterio to be world champion. Ooh, that's a wish. Uh, I want Dominic and Ray one more time. But yeah, okay. I have a lot on the WWE. Side. I hey. want to have like storylines that are gonna make sense, and not, and I also I really like the that they're bringing back the old pay per view names for like the shows and shit, like. I'm like New Year's Revolution. I remember that was in 05, the Elimination Chamber. Like I was all into that. I want to see them. Um, I want to see them bring up NXT people like they used to. You know, like remember back in NXT when like people would yeah. show up in the crowd and like you're like, oh shit, Adam Cole's here. Like I like that. Um, and I want to see what Triple H is going to do with the Hall of Fame now that he's in control of it. Um, and I just want to see what else we're going to get this upcoming year because I feel like 2024 is going to be a big year. We're going to a lot of different countries. And uh, I'm just excited. I hope there's a lot of good wrestling, whether it's AEW, WWE, good wrestling altogether. So this is this is a quick little holiday special. But before we go, we have a couple of announcements to make here. Uh, obviously, this is Christmas Eve, but next week we have New Year's Eve 2024. And what a better way to ring in the new year than with Christian and myself. We are going to be giving you the uncensored pro wrestling podcast 2023 year end awards we're gonna be covering our favorite wrestler a uh, fe- male wrestler female wrestler match of the year pay-per-view of the year um and many more you know options will be dropping that soon next year is gonna be really big we're gonna be having new stuff christian is gonna be having a website you better be getting that done sir so i can promote you big time um Twitter's popping. Space is a lot of fun. I've been just started doing that again. And yeah, so we have a lot of things coming your way. Um, This is just a little quick video just to let you know that, you know, we're here celebrating. We're happy that, you know, we made it this far to another Christmas and that everyone's healthy and staying safe and everyone's good. But um, with that, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. Like I said, this is very short. Um, Christian, do you have any last words? Um, no, it's a good Christmas, short little episode here. Um, just to, you know, give give some holiday stuff, you know, chat it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, get to see the lights. Get to see the lights. No, yeah. Um uh there's nothing really coming up. I mean you know, awards World's Wrestle End Dream, World's End, Wrestle Dream, the Rumble. Got a lot of good stuff. Hard to kill TNA. Show. I'm covering Hard that. Hard to kill TNA, TNA. I'm watching that. I can't wait. All right. We'll cover that then, man. Follow me on X at Chris Russell TV. Yep. Dude, I love yeah. following Christian because the stuff, it, it, it's a lot of good stuff on I there. I swear to God, if Daniel Garcia gets a fucking loss, I'm rioting. Yep. Yep. He lost. Or did he win? Oh, he's coming yeah. out right now. Fuck Daniel Garcia when you got Christian Morales here giving you what is that called the like I don't know it's his dance that that's called the hot dance there for you well I can't give you that but I can tell you guys to uh you know always appreciate the holidays spend time with your family and friends the people that you consider family your close ones dance with Christian um and just you know celebrate the new year and you know be happy and merry and all that good stuff and stay safe and. Again, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Merry Christmas, whatever you got to celebrate. 
Yes, whatever you celebrate, thank you guys. Stay safe, and we will see you for our SmackDown recap, and we will see you for our New Year's Eve and the Year Award. Stay safe and stay uncensored. Happy holidays, everybody. Thank you.